Straveti Prieteli. Welcome back to A Taste of Bulgaria with me, Gareth. We've got another mini vid for you today. Today, I'm here with the founder of Foreigner BG. Foreigner BG is the best source of information for expats and foreigners who want to come and live here in Bulgaria. So, I'm here with Daniel. Nice to meet you, Daniel. How are you, Gareth? I'm very good, thank you. Today, he's brought us to his favorite bar in Varna. Where are we? Now we are in the bar, it's called Mental. It's right next to the beach. It's an amazing place. But it's today it's a sunny day, kind sunny of sunny day. day. Yeah, it's very sunny day. And a lot of people here, it's always nice music and nice drinks. We're having a coffee and we are having a coffee, yes, enjoying our time here. Yeah. yeah. And it's and the prices are very good also, yeah. I mean I don't know the price expensive. you pay. <laughs> I've got a few questions for you. What actually uh, what is the reason that you came here to Bulgaria? I came here to Bulgaria 15 years ago because my wife is Bulgarian. Okay. I think it's many people that have come by the same reason. We were working both in the United States and at some moment she said, I'm going back to Bulgaria. And I said, okay, let, let, me, let me go have a look and see if I like it. And I said, I like it. And we decided to move here and continue our life here. So tell me uh, the reason why that you started this uh, website, Facebook page, and, and what actually it's all about. The Foreigner BG, the idea is to provide information easy to understand for foreigners and expats in Bulgaria or people that want to come to live in Bulgaria. Right. You know, we don't want to just repeat the articles of a law. Yes. We want to, the people to can make sense of the process, what they have to do and get access to this information that many times is not available in English language. In English language, right. So through pretty much your experience of 15 years living here, uh, you've come, accumulated all this. And no, it's not just me. It's a group of people that help me, many professionals. Uh -huh. I, I ask them for advice, they to give me their opinion and orientate me a, a little bit. I, I guess you recommend Bulgaria is a great place to come and live. Bulgaria uh, is like any place in the world. It's, there is not one flavor that pleases everybody. This is true. Exactly. Just not even vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there is not one flavor that can please to everybody. But if you are a person that likes a more calm down, a way of living, you know, you, if you want to raise a family, yes. if you want to enjoy the countryside, easy to move, a good connections with some other places in Europe, okay. and an affordable a cost of living, Yes, I think this, yes. Is, this is a pretty good option, you know. Okay, good. So if you're somebody who's considering to come and live in Bulgaria, I recommend that you check out Daniel's website and Facebook page. I'm going to link that in the uh, video description uh, down below. And uh, yeah, definitely check that out. So now, 15 years here in Varna, you must have uh, some. You must know the best places to go. Give me five must-see places here in Varna. This is one of the best spots. Is to get a, the beach with the sea garden. You have two in one. In one day, you can enjoy a nice walk by the sea garden, which is 100 years old and it's eight kilometers long, and it's very pleasant to come with your family. There are restaurants, there are bars. And at the same time, you just go down a little bit down and you're on the beach. This is one spot that I definitely recommend to everybody that comes to Bulgaria and to Varna. I also would love to recommend, well, but it's a place that is not much known for the people, but it's called Exinograd Palace. Uh -huh. When back in the time, Bulgaria used to have a king. Yes. And you know, kings are very smart. You have a king too. <laughs> yes. They always choose the best spots. Of course. <laughs> of course, they, they, they get the best spots for them. And it's a couple of kilometers outside Varna. They made their summer residence. Uh -huh. And now it's already not the summer residence. There is not a monarchy anymore in Bulgaria. Yes. Also that I would like to recommend to the people is to go to the Poviti Kamani, which is they call it the, the stone desert. Uh -huh. It's a very particular place. It's the only desert in Bulgaria. And, right. and it's a place that looks like if you were in a in another world, you know? It's a, it's a very interesting <laughs> planet. Exactly, and it's just 20 minutes by car. Yeah, another thing that I would like to recommend to everybody that is watching this video, if they come to Bulgaria, if you come to Varna, go and have a visit in the archaeological museum. In the archaeological museum, you may find the oldest gold labor world, gold in the world, that was found here in Varna, three kilometers yes. from where we are sitting now. Okay. It, another spot that I would like to recommend for you 
if you like outdoors activity, you can enjoy a nice day walking around the city. There is some pedestrian areas, only pedestrian. There is plenty of restaurants, shops, things to do, cafeterias. You can sit, have a have lunch, enjoy, and reach from the cathedral, passing by the opera theater, uh -huh. some fountains in between, some museums, and and many other interesting things that you can see. Perfect. Well, that's great then, Daniel. So, thank you for giving us your time today. Think about coming and living in Bulgaria. Check out Daniel's website or his Facebook page. Excellent information on there. I've used that information before. I definitely recommend it. See you on the next video, guys.